No mistake about it. This is World War Three. So we are. It is World War Three. But I want to show you in today's video what a false flag event is. I want to show you what's already happened in the past. And I hold on. What do you want to show me? World War Three. Let's do that again. No mistake about it. This is World War Three. So we are. It is World War Three. But I'm World War Three. So we are. It is World War Three. But I want to show you. But I want to show you. So what you're saying is, it's three. Three points. It's three field goals. World War Three is like, it's like a, it's like a, um, you know, it's like a field goal post, like that, it's like that. That one's no good. No, the problem is he's saying it's good, and he's saying no. Forty-four, final score. They're getting ready to kick a fifty-three yard field goal, which would be five touchdowns and three three field goals. It would be the number three as three field goals, and number five as points uh, touchdowns, which is thirty-five plus nine is forty-four. As they're showing you a fifty-three yard field goal. With five tut five crossings over the end zone to get seven points, and then three crowns, which is kicking it. This is it's like a doesn't that look like a crown? And then eighty eight leopard tanks to Russia. Troy sends this to me. I'm at the other way. Forty four is H H, which is eighty eight my business and he sends it over and of course 88 being a symbol you know it's the eighth letter of the alphabet's h so you can figure and it looks like a leper so troy's worried he's like is this you know part of the right. beast the beast that looks like it's leper who knows right let me tell you something gideon he was scared he was threshing wheat he was scared god said you know go get some people to help <laughs> don't be scared people we got to stop worrying about this crazy stuff but yeah it is kind of ironic 88 and it's a uh it's not exactly a, a good look for germany of all places especially when they say you know wow. you know go get some people to help don't it is kind of ironic 88 and it's a uh it's not exactly a, a good look for germany of all places especially when they say you know we're fighting nazis you know vlad my alter ego he he probably say you should have maybe said something else. I don't know. You tell me in the comment section. So they're sending 88 leopard tanks. And here, uh, beat this little nine-year-old girl uh, up. The nine is the amount of points that comes from three crowns. Or were three, three of them. It's a good thing they're honoring heroes at RT station modern day Man uh, Manchurian candidate program going on here in the U.S. This is a very, very unusual event that took place yesterday in Washington, D.C. It's not gone public, uh, but I was able to get the information to share with you there. There is a secret program the CIA is working on. I'm going to be working it's on like a Operation deeper Robin. broadcast this weekend going into much greater detail about the collapse of the United States, the collapse of the dollar. What Organize it in a way that even someone that's new to this channel will be able to now I want to deliver what I told you I have from the last video but guys I got to organize it in a way I'm working on basically three things right now three like three field goals Abram tanks in Ukraine and then 31 Abram tanks
31, as in the score of the Eagles, 31. Abram Tanks, World War Three, WWW, 3 is 9 because World War Three. That's the amount of field goals. Okay, said, don't kid yourself. That is called World War Three. What did we just do? We just sent 31 Abram tanks, and we said, uh, I quit counting the billions. World War Three, three, three times is nine. See, when you're when you're repeating WW, it could be AAA three, and it's like code for three and three and three, which is nine. So World War Three nine. Send in 31 tanks, and then you stop counting is, Robin, stop counting the, uh, the Eagles are only scoring 31. Stop counting from that point on. And I saw a couple uh, field goals from, that they gave up. said, don't kid yourself. That is called World War Three. What did we just do? We just sent. 31 Abram tanks, and we said, uh, I quit counting the billions. I saw a couple uh, a couple news sources that were saying, you know, $37 billion has gone to the Ukraine already. The idea that we're going to send tanks, did we send tanks? Yes. Planes? Oh, yeah, that's part of Vlad's next package. Planes, uh, like second 9-11? You send the tanks first. Uh, planes? Uh, looks like, yeah, they're going. So it looks like, yeah, in Philly, they're, they're next with the Super Bowl. Especially if it's 31 to 13. I, I, I would be concerned the next day about what's going to take place in Philly. So tanks, planes, trains. Haven't heard about trains. How about automobiles? <laughs> Don't kid yourself. Make no mistake about it. That is called World War Three. He just said, All right. Do not kid yourself. Five hours ago. If there's tanks, planes, trains, go. It's February 4th, 2023. Going to the Ukraine, make no mistake about it this is world war three <clears throat> so we are it is world war three but i want to sh show you a field goal world war three and five three because there's five touchdowns and three field goals i gotta go over this three thing with you robin you're not getting it right stop counting from 31 tanks and up that's all the Eagles are going to score is 31. And and then 13 on the other end because it's going to mirror it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to mirror 13-31. And then 13 more would be Super Bowl 57. Maybe five, six million views, and they pulled it. You know, that was five, six touchdowns. You got to pick which one, and then they pulled it, the, the five from it. Because... What you're going to see in today's video is going to leave your jaw on the ground. Like Joel Karim here. As you can see his eye is here and his nose nostril and his mouth is opened up and it's the hinge is here on his jaw and his jaw is unhinged. It's on the, it's, it's getting ready to drop on the ground. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. It, a boot in the mouth doesn't seem like it's a great thing. Just pay attention. I remember doing it as a kid. Somebody would, uh, on the other side, they would, at, in school, you would fold a little piece of paper, make it a football, and then flick it. And the other person would be like that. So you can get the field goal to go through. So pay attention to that. World War Three. One field goal, two field goal, three field goal is nine, which is 
two field goals for the Chiefs, one field goal for the Eagles. Because all the Eagles got to do is cross, is, is make four crosses, crossing over the end zone to get seven points, 28 points, and then one uh, crown for a three-pointer to make it 31. And there's 31 tanks are being sent over that Biden just was talking about. Said those exact words. No mistake about it. That is called World War Three. He just said those exact words. When Abram tanked, make no mistake about it. Said those exact words. And then he says, "We just sent thirty-one Abram tanks." Think about it. You know, Derek Bro says it all the time. It just reminds me of Derek Bro saying that. Sending tanks or planes to World War Three. He just said those exact words. And then he says, we just sent 31 Abram tanks. Make no mistake about it. Sending tanks or planes, trains, that is called World War Three. Make no mistake about it. And here he is saying, we just sent 31 Abrams tanks. So, according to Joe Biden, make no make mistake about it, we have entered World War III. Now, let me tell you something. You know all the balloon going over the United States? I saw a really good one by Majorie Taylor Green. It was a balloon with like a satellite thing on it. It said, uh, Eric, uh, happy Valentine's Day, fang fang. So, people like Eric Swalwell, they've sold you out. Those people shift. They lied to everybody. They're sellouts. Eric Swallow. So these people are... You're not talking about Andrew, are you? Because you always hear him swallowing. They're liars. They'll <clears throat> lie about anything and everything. They lied about everything. I mean, why are, why are my programs doing this? And I've been watching what they're doing, and I've been coming up with ways around it. So if you see me play the same video three times in a row, three times in a row, one minute video, but three times in a row, are you saying that Super Bowl 57 is going to be three field goals in a row first before anybody scores any touchdowns? That way it's nine points. Maybe even up until halftime. It's not six to nine, but it could be, say, six points. Right? Uh, Kansas City has six points. And the first half is a basically a real solid defensive game. And. In order to get the six to the nine point, Kansas City, because they're going to score 13, they would have to have six points first or last. It doesn't really matter, but if you're going to go from six to nine into the halftime, the announcers can say, the Kansas City Chief, when the, when the Eagles kicked the, uh, the crown, one of the three crowns, when they kicked the crown, like this, because it's five touchdowns and three field goals all together, World War III, three, three threes, nine, and then 40, 44 total. Super Bowl 57, the good Stewart, 13 31, 13 31, mirror image. The crown is kicked, and they'll say, Eagles just scored their first field goal as the Chiefs have six. And the Eagles now have three, the total of nine points. Only, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be, and Eagles only have three points. And the Chiefs have, have six, nine points altogether before halftime. It's, I'll tell you, uh, Jack, 
this is a one great defensive play. And it's looking really good for the Kansas City Chiefs. And um, so that way they can throw in the six to nine because the darkness, the darkness is going to be between this game, the Eagles game and between six and ninth hour. If I can predict it <laughs> to the T, because I'm, I'm showing you who's giving me the, uh, the hints, but do, are you really taking me serious when I'm saying this is really what it means as he's talking about the Super Bowl? Give me the heads up. Not that I'm going to like make money on it, but just improve communication. That would be so great if I can get this right. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get it right. So make no mistake about it. This one's a day ago. This one is two day, five hours ago. But I play it three times. It's for a reason. So. Oh, in the beginning, you're saying it's going to be slowly a slow reel. Working with my audio, I went and re recorded this to change the codec. I've done. Change the code so it's a different. All right. Some other things to change avenues that. The powers that be could come in here and mess with what I'm showing you. It happens over and over again at this channel. It's insane. Just pay attention. Dungeon. At the first round of the video is is low in volume. Just wait. Low in volume, meaning the the amount of points scored in the Super Bowl. Low in volume. Yeah, I've been I've been studying what happens. Like what is happening? Why are Play by play in each quarter, quarter by quarter, point by point. How are they going to score? How, how is it that the Eagles are going to score 31 to 13? How are they going to do it? Are my programs doing this, and I've been watching what they're doing, and I've been coming up with ways around it. Watching what they're doing, and I've been coming up with ways around it. So if you see me play the same video three times in a row for a, a one-minute video, but I play it three times, it's for a reason. One time could mean the quarter, and for a reason, there's four quarters. One quarter being nothing but field goals, and then maybe the, the next quarter uh, is no points whatsoever, but all the touchdowns come in the second half. So you can hear it clearly. Pay attention, guys. Here we go. Well, just watch, goal. watch the lunatic, what he says. This right here looks like a field goal. As you just said, pay attention to that. This is how I'm perceiving it. Even this here as looking like a field goal. I mean, a football. Football. Post. Football coming out. The egg. We're going to do a couple of these. Okay, here's the video from yesterday. One. You're going to circle the 31. This would Circle the 31 because that's the 31 points. March 11th. Uh, to 2022, right here. This is what play it through three times. Is it good? Oh, Safety steps up and drills it. Good for him. How impressed. From 45 yards. All the way. It's good. Oh, look at that. Three eights. Three times. with an unbelievable season, 10 straight wins, silenced all the doubters, they did everything right, they had their chance, the ball, a drive, and that's how close this thing comes down to the play. This thing comes down to the plays were made by the two superstars of Kansas City. Two outstanding teams for the next decade, Jim. We're going to see them a lot, I believe. I just... Two 
two outstanding teams for the next decade, Jim. We're going to see them a lot, I believe. I just want to amplify. Is that not teeth? Like, yeah! Is that not teeth in Pet Goat 2? Are we not at this exact moment right now? Butker deliver the goods. They would have had eight seconds left. Again, no timeouts. But the, the field two, the plays were made by the two superstars of Kansas City, two outstanding teams for the next decade, Jim. We're going to see them a lot, I believe. I just want to amplify that Mahomes had he not been shoved out of bounds. Foul penalties. You see Butker deliver the goods. They would have had eight seconds left. Again, no. Penn Center building, 8-17 JFK. No timeouts, but the, the field goal would have been somewhere in the mid-50 range. 50 is on the back of the 50-hour bill. That's where the bombing explosion looks like it's taking place at that exact place with the three eights on the building. You can hear it clearly. And so if they're trying to do their little cyber attacks on me, it doesn't work. Because they did it on the last video again. And I'm tired of reels ending up in the dumpster so let pay attention guys here we go well, just watch watch the lunatic what he says there as you see this one going through about pay eight attention. to ten we've been 15 yards back sometimes said on march 11th uh to 2022 right here this is what he said and then you're gonna side by side right here you're gonna see what he said just recently, please pay attention. I'm going to play it three times. As you see this one going through about eight to ten, we have been 15 yards through about eight to ten. We have been 15 yards back. This one going through about eight to ten, we have been 15 yards back. Their arms depicting five crosses, five crosses, and three crowns of Jerusalem. Three crowns of Let me play the same video three times in a row for a, a one minute video, but I play it three times. It's for a reason. So you can hear it clearly. Let, pay attention, guys. Here we go. Well, just watch, watch the lunatic, what he says. I'm going to play it through three times. Three field goals. Total. Send in offensive equipment and have We're going to send an offensive, like our offensive team. We're going to come in. We're going to kick these three field goals here. Planes and tanks and trains uh, going in with American pilots and American crews. Just understand and uh, don't kid yourself, no matter what you all say. That's called World War III. And to oh, wait a minute. Wait one minute. Ah, I hope it's not like this. Then again. World War Three. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't equal up to that because if if the Super Bowl was a was a war about f kicking field goals and there's no touchdown score whatsoever, but there's constant field goals. Not just the defenses just won't give up touchdowns, but that number would always be even because it would be either thirty. The point spread or 33, the point spread being 33 or 38, I don't know, or 41, 44. Hmm, you could score that many field goals with 44. Forty four divided by three. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. You can, you can only reach 42 points. It wouldn't be 43 or 44. If it was a world war of three-point kicking field goals in Super Bowl 57, that would suck. That the United States will be sending 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine. All right, 31 Abram tanks. 
again, you can't even get 31 points from field goals alone, but you can get 31 points by scoring four touchdowns and then adding one crown for one team. That would get you 31 points, 31 tanks. Because somewhere along the lines, they're going to throw out the Chiefs score, the Eagles score, the total score. They're going to throw out the three, and they're going to throw out how many touchdowns total, how many touchdowns for each team, how many field goals total, how many field goals for each team. And if it's a total amount, then I would have to go by what Andrew is talking about. Five crosses and three crowns of Jerusalem. Five touchdowns is 35. And then plus playing it three times, pay attention, three field goals would be plus three, plus three, plus three will get you the 44 hunted for dinner, 100, 100 for dinner, 144 for dinner, Super Bowl 57. 13 more plus 13 takes you to fit. Super Bowl 50, uh, 57. So when you minus 13, it'll get you Super Bowl 57's final total score over under. And then minus 13 more is going to get you what the Eagles score is going to be. They're going to score that. And obviously 13 is left over. But that makes it a difference of 18 points to get you to the Chiefs score. And then 18 is six plus six plus six plus six, which is the mark, 18 mod zero. Two and two with the bases loaded and one out. Out, 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 One hundred percent, no lion. Nine eleven. After the Super Bowl Sunday. You kid yourself, no matter what you all say, that's called World War Three. And today, today I'm announcing that the United States will be sending thirty-one Abram tanks to Ukraine. The equivalent of one Ukrainian battalion. Now, one Ukrainian battalion could be code for the Chiefs are only going to score one touchdown along with two crowns, which would give them 13. Idea that we're going to send, which would be here, here. Then offensive equipment and have planes and tanks and trains. Offensive equipment is just, he's talking about football. He's talking about the Super Bowl. Uh, going in with American pilots and American crews. 31 Abram tanks to Ukraine. Thanks for the announcing equivalent that. of one Ukrainian battalion. The idea that we're going to send in offense. Thank you for announcing World War Three for everybody without even. Without even knowing it. World War Three. WWW. Is, it's three letters. World War Three is after the WW. Three, which is all together, but it's three, three, and three, which is nine. Nine field goals. Knowing it, genius. Okay. Gene? Who are you talking to? Gene uh, Rebel? Gene, or Gene Kim, or Gene Simmons, my dad. So now there's the point. So I'm making a point. So he. Now, you could be making a point. Because there isn't one at the very, everything's aiming, everything's aiming right here at this point. Because there isn't, there isn't one, one needs, there's one car right here at this point. It doesn't really look like that white Ferrari, but I'm sure it's, it's just representing the, you got to get to the point, Robin. 
So if you just Google ruler, come to the first ruler you see. If you come to the first ruler, you'll see that there's 11, there's 9, that there's 11, there's 10, there's 9, then there's 8 right where that, right where that would be the ruler. Because this is a, a ruler right there. And this is the first ruler that you that you Google, or when you Google ruler, it's the first image that shows up. The point. So he said, no matter what, don't kid yourself. Make no mistake about it. No matter what, what you say, sending in tanks, planes, or trains. Didn't he just send in a bunch of tanks? So that means make no ma mistake about it. That's World War Three. We have, that's World War Three. I we never already heard. know that, right? Do y'all know what's going on with this balloon? See, the thing is, they've already front loaded you so bad that here comes the next nine eleven event. <gasps> a false flag. It's a false Mom. flag. They already set the stage. This big. I never heard John the Cleck say the next nine eleven event because. I mean, my goodness, uh, if I, was to type in second, just second 9-11 alone, it would help if I put second 9-11, uh, space it out. It does make a difference, actually. There's 109 videos with my second 9-11 title. Most recent one, December 19th, 2022. None of them, it never happened. All the second 9-11 titles, predictions. Nope, nope, nope. But when I up, there it is already uploaded. When the second 9-11 happens, once you finally, once you type in second 9-11, I'm pretty sure I would have domination over the the title second 9-11 just by itself. But you'd really only need the most recent one. Bad guy named Poon's guy. Which would, which could, be, it could be this video. This video could be the one I upload because Super Bowl... Look, Super Bowl 57, hunted for dinner, 400, 44 being the final score. Jonathan Click, the beginning of my communication with Jonathan Click since the very first video that I that I screenshotted and uploaded. Jamie the Rabbit is proving he's an agent. And then John to click comments at the same exact day on 8 13. 13. <clears throat> 8 13. Jamie the Rabbit 8 13. Then I made my video of click about the Hoover Dam. Yeah, this yes, be for vengeance. Right side up, upside down. So on the 23rd. Take vengeance on that system now. That's what this is all about. So from 8.13, my first actual communication with Jonathan Clegg, 42 months later, well, let's just say Super Bowl Monday on February 13th, 2023, is exactly 42 months from this date. Takes you to Super Bowl Monday. But what would cause, if it was a false flag and the Eagles won World War III with nothing but field goals, and the last field goal was a false flag, where it was like a cheat, because what happens is whoever's supposed to win the game, if they don't 
If they missed a field goal, then it's purpose for somebody to throw a false flag, a false flag, where the penalty really didn't happen, and then it gets fans so upset. And I don't know, maybe Kansas, Kansas City, Kansas, they they take out the the weather on the the Kansas God takes it out on Philadelphia for cheating the next day with World War Three, the the very boring field goal war in Super Bowl Super Bowl fifty seven. I hope that's not the case. I hope it's thirteen to thirty one, Chiefs thirteen, Eagles thirty one. It just looks better. It feels better. The World War Three with the field goals, not so much fun to watch. But it's three years and six months since my obsession with trying to figure out apparently how to predict the Super Bowl. How to deal with it. Same goes right now for everybody. I'm going to show you what a false flag is. Oh, that's not good because a false flag means it's going to be a close game. It means it, it's not going to be 31 to 13 because it's going to, it means that it's a freaking boring ass field goal war. And the false flag is the last play that gives the Eagles the victory. And it's a false flag. And that gives whoever uh, the right to be pissed off at Philadelphia. M maybe Putin is a, uh, maybe Putin's a Kansas city fan and he knows it's a false flag. And he's like the hell with those freaking Eagles. You know what? Or I hope you're saying there's a false flag on the first field goal that's kicked to, to give Give me an understanding of where the game starts instead of watching a boring field goal game. Let's watch Klaus Schwab set up the false flag first. Let's watch Klaus Schwab get you ready. Let it, let's let him front load everybody first. Let's do that video. At the same time, false flag the, the event in Philly, the destruction. It just looks like it says fly, like fly eagles, the eagles color green. Fly Eagles fly. There we go. Uh... To the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack, which would bring to worse and worse. Pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack. Uh, Robin, what are you doing? Look at the 555. Will you look at the 555? Which is the root password? What's the root password? 555. Why is that? Because it's 555. Chase Bank. Make no mistake about it. Which would bring to a complete halt. To the power supply. To the power supply. To the power supply. To the power supply. Only one way this pandemic is going to go. It's going to get worse and, and worse, worse and worse and worse. Pay insufficient Most attention, attention to the, to the frightening scenario of the cyber, cyber attack, which, would bring which will bring complete halt to the power supply. And transportation, our society as a whole. The COVID-19 would be seen on the suspect, a small disturbance in comparison to our attack. The need for a great reset. So people will not happen. So Clark's going to play it three times in a row. Pandemic is going to go. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. Pay insufficient attention. So this is the second time. Of at 5:55 a.m. on February 13th, 2023, because that's after the Super Bowl game with a 
with a false flag. Cyber attack, which would bring to a complete halt to the power And I'll play it again. And worse. And worse. Pay insufficient attention for the third time to the frightening scenario. To the 555. Cyber attack. It's, I mean, it's hard to miss 555 right in your face. In comparison, in comparison to a major, a major cyber, cyber attack. Uh, pay no attention to that picture there. Don't stop me. It's, my penis is not tucked in the side of my apron. Speaking not of things I can't unsee, I keep seeing these videos of Klaus Schwab from the world. Speaking of things I can't unsee, you just saw one I can't unsee. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> unsee. Speaking of things I can't unsee, I keep seeing these videos of Klaus Schwab from the world. Speaking of things I can't unsee, you just saw one. Love. Love. Love the Bengals, blew it. And love the flood in Philly. Anyway. <laughs> Reality of a cyber attack. He's just calling it out. Ooh, isn't that crazy? There's a mysterious Chinese balloon, and it's not a it's not a greeting, and it's not a Valentine to Eric Chinese Smallwall from Fang Fang. Balloon. I mean, it's just this is absurd. Okay, so they're front loading everybody with a big Chinese spy balloon going over the U.S. looking for all the nuclear missile silos. So they can EMP the U.S., you know, make all the lights go out. You think they got that on the slate? Duh. They, listen. Chinese boots on the ground. The bombing of the Twin Towers was. Was the Twin Towers. Was printed on U.S. currency because, like was saying before, the pyramids is your enemy. And it was when he was showing you the fifty dollar bill, both of them, and making the pyramid. This is actually fifty South Sixteenth Chapel Street, with the spear cut in two, and chariot on fire, being still at eight forty eight, because it's eight hundred forty feet tall, but it's fifty South Sixteenth Street, and then over in. 17th and JFK, Chase Bank, it's also representing the 50, in my opinion, because it's very similar to the, to the $50 bill. That is uh, on the back of the fifty dollar bill. Five fifty five. He played it three times. False flag event right here. On your twenty dollar bill. <clears throat> I'm gonna pause this. I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my bills. I'm gonna show them to you on the screen. I want you to see this because the new destructions that are coming. Uh -huh. I mean, that they've already planned, that they already tell you they're going to do right in front of you because they're telling you a cyber attack is going to make COVID look like nothing. We've already planned it. <laughs> they got it. Okay, so if you will just give me your attention for a few minutes, let me show you what I showed the FBI. And watch an FBI agent freak out, so that means you should freak out. Attention for a few minutes, let me show you what I showed the FBI. And watch an FBI agent freak out, so that means you should freak out. Because he had to grapple with the reality of what I'm showing him. What I was showing him was the absolute truth. And he couldn't deal with it. Because it's an overload to try and solve the issue because this is more like a scene from the movie The Fallen with Denzel Washington, where that spiritual being just goes from one to the next to the next and orchestrates Denzel. everything he's doing. The divining serpent. Serpent. Divining serpent. Stay with me. Let me get these bills up. Let me show you. Just watch this. Mercy. 
Okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to show you and what I'm going to bring up on this computer that I showed the FBI again is the bombings of all the buildings in the United States. This is the same thing I told them. I'm going to show you every bombing that's Fine. happened. Uh, the, the, the federal building bombing in Liberty. Oklahoma City. I'm going to show it to right. you blowing up and blown in half. I'm going to show you. I Liberty 2. To that Liberty 1. Currency. I'm going to show you the Twin Towers blowing up. I'm going to show you the Pentagon blowing up. William all Penn. On, all on U.S. currency notes. William Pentagon Different building. Different currency notes have different images on the back. And the reason they have different images is because, you see that image? That makes a Twin Tower bombing. You see that very different image? Look. You see the very different image on the bottom? So the Federal Building Bombing. Serpent. So just stay with me. Let me get these bills up. Let me show you. Just watch this. Okay, so now what I'm going to show you and what I'm going to bring up on this computer that I showed the FBI again is the bombings of all the buildings in Federal the United States. U.S. The currency. Same thing I told them. Bank. I'm going to show you every bombing that's happened. Uh, the, the, the federal building bombing in Oklahoma City. I'm going to show it to you blowing up and blown in half. I'm going to show you an identical image of that on the U.S. currency. I'm going to show you the Twin Towers blowing up. I'm going to show you the Pentagon blowing up. All on, all on U.S. currency notes. Different currency notes. William Penn. If that William Penn building is gone. It's the clock tower, just representing the clock tower. Then that would represent the William, uh, the Pentagon building being hit because it's going to be mirrored from New York to Philadelphia, the two cities. And the federal building bombing also, which is the Chase Bank and the Twin Towers bombing, but the Pentagon representing that and the other airplane crashed. The story is it crashed in Pennsylvania, and it made a Statue of Liberty indent to kind of aim towards heading to Philly with this similar statue type of Liberty uh, statue standing right between the Twin Towers, just like Statue of Liberty. You know, unless Nineveh repents and it doesn't have to get destroyed after Super Bowl Sunday, the next day, or even during the, the parade or, or maybe before the parade. Hold it in a pentagram shape, it turns into a football. And it turns into 2200 Osprey Boulevard. Twenty two hundred. The Twin Tower bombing. Now all which shows the the Twin Tower bombing after the after the football game. And when he shows you it's folded, it, it'll show you a pyramid look to it. And remember, Barack Obama said about cutting the spear in two, burning the chariot, and cutting the spear in two in half or something. And then be still at 8.48 a.m. He read, be still, no damn God, at 8.48 a.m. And this building's 848 feet tall. Two Liberty Place at 50 South 16th Street in Center City is a 848-foot tall skyscraper similar, in style, to the complex's anchor tower One Liberty Place at 1650 Market Street, with its words, floor boosted by an extension on the north side of the structure. 
to do is move the bill and connect the vertices, and there's the Church of Satan. There's so I just pyramid. showed you the, there's the pyramid. The twenty dollar bill has the twin towers on it. But I'm gonna turn the bill over right in front of you. Look. There's the bill, twin towers, there's the Pentagon. Now I'm gonna show you these The Pentagon, the William Pentabuilding building being gone. On the computer, enhanced with the buildings along the side. So, now what's the Pentagon doing on this bill? So, on this one twenty-dollar note made in nineteen ninety-six. Twenty-dollar note made in nineteen ninety-six. I was twenty years old in nineteen ninety-six. After they made me. Oklahoma City when you fold that one in the pentagram shape. And when you turn the bill over, it shows the building blown in half with the floor sticking out. Okay, this is a no-brainer. Look, guys, just a little background. I went to Texas A&M to start my college. I went to three years of high school. And I graduated in three years because I thought I was smart. Three years, three field goals. Three three-pointers, nine points. And accelerated, and I went off to A&M to do engineering. Federal building bombing in Oklahoma City, old 20. Pentagon and Twin Towers. There's the Twin Towers, same bill. There. Pentagon building is surrounded by, it's basically the, a target, the clock tower. I can see through their entire plan. Pentagon and Twin Towers. There's the Twin Towers. Same bill. There's the Pentagon money. Okay, do you know that according to the laws of large numbers and statistics and probabilities with everything I'm showing you, do you know... It's probably literally impossible for anybody to get it right. That's why I've always gotten all my predictions wrong. That this is 100% impossible that this bill would make the federal building bombing in Oklahoma City. In the 20 mirror that turned the 20 around, it's a 50. Federal building bombing, federal U.S. currency at a bank. Blowing up and blown in half. And this, let me show you how all this was done. It's insanity. It's called a false flag. Let me give you the definition. You need to know what the definition of a false of a false flag is. So L O V E. L O V E. Blame on another party. Okay, so let's let's just false flag originated 16th century, 16th Street, 50 South is Liberty Two, 848 feet tall. You know, very. So let's let's just you know very tactically look at that. So it's having an event <clears throat> and pinning the responsibility on someone else. Who is pinned for the Twin Towers and, and all nine? I mean, I wonder what may happen uh, with an event that I'm telling you that Satan is planning and then it happens exactly the way I said. Yeah, I mean, what else is he going to do? 9-11. Uh, it was some guy named Osama bin Laden, and I'm going to show you James Corbett report right after this, so you can see the insanity that they would even try to tell you it was a bunch of terrorists. It's so stupid, it's ridiculous. I'm just going to say it like it is today, guys. So let's look at the Twin Tower bomb. Let's look at the Twin Towers, yes or no? Okay, so here is a side view of the Statue of Liberty alongside the Twin Towers, which are really two big standing DNA markers 
we can get into that later, but let's just let's just get into it. It's twins. It represents Cain and Abel, Cannibal. The system's cannibalistic. Now what I just got through showing you. And there's the Twin Towers bombing some side by side. Some people may be skeptics and go, oh, I don't know about that, Johnny. Okay, well, let me just show you a, a day in the life of the September 11th attacks right here. Statue of Liberty is overlooking it. That's because if that's the case and the William Penn building being gone would be the last event. Then again, 848 and 848 feet tall happening. Here, it says there were 2,000... Showing the angle there, the, the point. This portion. Similar. 977 people were killed. And I it changes you if you take a genetic editing. All right, so this is <clears throat> this is John. This is this Jonathan Clegg, right here. Uh, just as an example, it's you who are changed, and of course, this has a big impact on your identity. Yeah. Need for a great piece so people. <laughs> That's your other goofy character. Assume we are just going back to the <laughs> world which we had, and everything will be normal again. This is, uh, let's say, fiction. It will not happen. There is only the system is cannibal, cannibalistic. That's why there's a serpent eating its own tail, and that picture I just showed you represents the host body system. That's why George Bush read Psalm 23. 23 chromosomes from one, for, donated from one parent, 23 from the other, like seed of the serpent, seed of the woman. Okay, 23 and 23 together makes 46. So they burn up the Twin Towers, showing that the system, the human host body system, has burned up all that twin energy. There's no more male energy in the system. I know I told you Cain and Abel, but you got to understand that the system is two different energies, one that gives, one that receives. Okay, and we'll go over that in another video if you haven't already seen it. Well, you know, you put the same thing in, in this and this, and then all you need is a little modem to make them come online. It's a no-brainer now. It's a no-brainer. It doesn't require a brain. Just like everything I'm going to show you. I'm showing you images that are bombings of these towers printed on the U.S. currency. I showed them the FBI. It's a no-brainer now. It's a no-brainer. It doesn't require a brain. Just like... I think what's going on here. If if I didn't have a brain, but I was a chip baby, what they're trying to do is prove to you that I don't even need a brain in order to figure out the uh, the this divining serpent's plan. It's a no brainer. Like, you don't even need a brain. You just need a chip. You just need a chip in your forehead. I'm going to show you. I'm showing you images that are bombings of these towers printed on the U.S. currency. I showed them the FBI. One guy freaked out. What do we do? What do we do? Two welcome, and this is it. Four, three, two, one. Before the fire, guys. I am freaking out. Yep. So this Johnny is freaking out. What do we do? What do we do? This Johnny, you want to kill me, don't you? <laughs> the other guy looked like he wanted to kill me. Hmm, I wonder who could have been who. <laughs> I mean, you look like you want to kill me. Maybe you will. Maybe you'll do me a favor and I can get out of here early. <laughs> it's like the movie The Fallen. Okay, here we go. Let's go back to it. Oh, it's a no-brainer now. It's a no-brainer. It doesn't require a brain. Just like everything I'm going to show you. I'm showing you images that are bombings of these towers printed on the U.S. currency. I showed them the FBI. One guy freaked out. What do we do? What All do right, do? you guys. The other guy you welcome. Like this is it. Four, three, two, one. Before Ooh, the park, guys. Who can win? Okay. Like the movie, the fall. Y'all are gonna freak out. Okay, here we go. Let's go back to it. Okay, there's a twenty dollar bill. 
I'm showing you images that are bombings of these towers printed on the U.S. currency. I'm, I'm freaking FBI. out. One guy freaked out? What the Lord is communicated in a way that's so like insane, so me. impossible. Oh, so I wonder who could have been <laughs> got to share with you. I've been working out here like for hours. And, and okay, here we go. Let's go back to it. Oh, that's why the other side view of that is the Statue of Liberty. Liberty 1. Liberty 2. Liberty 1, as it shows you, Charles Schwab. Charles Schwab. Standing there and alongside of the Twin Towers, she represents the angels that took the liberty to take on host bodies. And so the twin system represents the host body that you took. That's why you're in it. That's why you're in it. What a coincidence! How weird is that? And the new $100 bill just happens to contain... New York being destroyed by nukes. And when I throw, show you the three layers of ink again, you're going to do what the FBI agent did. <laughs> yeah. So, because he knew it was, he knew all this was accurate, but his <laughs> Yeah, Guys, God bless so, you. So, because he this knew it was, he knew all, all this was accurate, but his compatriot looked like he may have been on the other out. team. I'm free. He looked like out. he wanted to kill me. I was surprised. Why are you acting like this guy? So insane. Like you so should be acting. So you should be going. I've got to share with you. I've been How did you do this? Hours. That's the right and reaction. Ow. That's the wrong reaction. <laughs> it's like just a no brainer. Y'all are going to freak okay, out. Okay, here we go. I'm freaking out. A false out. flag operation is an act. How did you do this? That's the right reaction. That's the wrong reaction. <laughs> no brainer. Uh, see, they totally effed up. They were even on the news saying building. One field goal, which is three points. Seven has fallen. And behind the newscast. Building seven is a touchdown. Building seven was still standing there. That's another touchdown, seven. And the newscast are going, and building seven is falling. The other one is three touchdowns. Building seven was up. That's four touchdowns. So That's a field goal and four touchdowns, which is 31 points. Go Eagles. See, we're up against the deceivers. It's a race of beings, deceivers. And they have you under a hypnotic, uh, until you turn 180 degrees, for, you've got to turn the opposite direction. 180, 18 is the difference between 31 and 13, 18 points. Lies, any of that stuff, you got to do it. Just didn't do it. He didn't orchestrate it. It was already printed on your money. That's the part that's a little bit of a head scratcher. The phone ringing means I am the one that... It, it did it. So the term false flag originated in the 16th century as an expression meaning an intentional misrepresentation of someone's allegiance. I'm just going to drop the bomb on reality. I don't know if I showed the date yet. February 5th, 2023. This is five hours ago. This is so obvious. He says gaslighting you, like me. We are living among a serpent race, and we are the serpent race. That's what getting converted by Christ is really all about. I wanted to reconcile the, the sheep part and the serpent part back to him, one body, to making your sins disappear because they're owned by the angel of the bottomless pit, which the Twin Towers were printed on your money, and did that, did that happen? Look, did that happen? That's a 20, so it's... It's on your money. The Twin Towers were printed on your money, and did that, did that happen? Look. Did... So 22 Hunter Osprey, and and uh, 2 plus 2 is 4. Did that happen? It happened. Did the Pentagon happen? Happened the same day. What about the federal building? Did the federal building blow up? It sure did. So everything that's printed on these bills happens. What's printed on the bills now? Tidal wave in New York. New York being destroyed by nukes. Let me show you that. Just... And then 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 is 40. 44 being the total scored to make sure so Super Bowl 57 they change a $10 bill what? so here's a little front loading for you from one of their movies oh what that's in a movie it sure is they wanted to make sure they showed a tidal wave or a tsunami wiping out the arch of Washington I wonder what the odds are in that so that's the Pentagon right the brilliant pen building being gone 
same as the Twin Towers and the Pentagon bombing. You know, the arch. Wait, if you see that standing up only, I, I, I wouldn't even... If this happens, I, I don't think I'm actually really... I just think I'm in a, some kind of reality dreamland or something. Wide and broad is the path to destruction. <laughs> there you go. What's in your city right now, can you name, that have rounded tubular shaped corners? How many? I can't name one in San Antonio. I can't do it. But right here, there's a federal building bomb bombing with these rounded corners, just like the bill. What? And then there's one, two, three, four, five, six long rectangles. Just like the bill. Just like the bill. 555, it's the same as the bill. Singular windows. And right here, even though the floor is blown off, there's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so you have six long rectangular windows going across the end of the building to your rounded corners, and now we have an identical match. Okay, do you think they're telling you about this balloon because they want you to know about the balloon? Balloon? No, they're front-loading you. So when the comprehensive cyber attack happens, I can go on the beach in my super cool dress. <laughs> Printed the bombing of... There's the three field goals. ...of that nuke going off, taking out Manhattan. There's the bill... There's the hundred dollar bill. I want you to look. I want you to just kind of squint your eyes. See the little smudgy marks. Looks like someone got some water on the paper right here. I can follow the lines. There they are. Oh uh, yeah, look. It even. It's like even. Uh, you know, like a football flicking through, coming, coming, flying into the the goalpost. That looks like the buildings being hit by a nuke coming from the background. But let's look at the third layer of ink. Because offensive equipment and have 31. Mystery solved, busted. 